the Earth, broken into a million shards, forcing its steam-driven inhabitants into space. Hard-working folks known as Calbuts survive by farming moisture and mining what little land is left, constantly dealing with all sorts of space jerks. There are the gangs of scrap metal meanies roaming about, preying on the weak and completely disregarding basic manners. Then there are the diesel-driven royalists, a bunch of oppressive bullies, abusing their power and bleeding the cow butts dry. To top it all off, there are rumors of something far more dangerous stirring in the depth of space, waking from its age-long slumber. These are the descendants of a shattered planet, and this, my distinguished gentle bots, is the new Steam World. All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Steam World Heist. Uh, if you're wondering what Steam World Heist is, uh, it's a. I all I know is it's like a tactical game. Uh, but it's also the sequel to Steam World Dig, which was a platformer, kind of Terraria style, but not quite. Uh, that was originally on the 3DS and then came out on uh, PC. And this one's actually gone the same route. So uh, it's been out on 3DS for a while, but it's finally hit PC today, and I can't wait to play it. Steam World Dig was honestly one of my favorite casual games of, was it 2013, 2012? Uh, it's been a while, and I almost did a series on it, and I actually recorded a ton of it. I was gonna, like, post-comment or something, but then I didn't because laziness and it was hard, and honestly, it was kind of a grindy, repetitive game. I might play it someday, maybe, like, in the background of a podcast or something, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but either way, I love I love the Steam World series, and I can't wait to give this one a go. So, I guess let's just start. Okay, so, new game. Uh, here we go. So, if you're used to turn-based strategy, awards a small bonus in experience points. So, I see. So, casual, if you're not in, not used to turn-based strategy, or if you're more interested in the story, no mission, failure penalty, low enemy numbers, damage and health, no bonus experience. Same thing for, with regular, slight penalty, extra experience, more experience, lots of experience. I think I'm just going to go on experienced. I hope it's kind of one of those where you can... Um, uh, change the difficulty if it does end up being too hard, just because certain tactical games don't exactly uh, have the flattest of da uh, difficulty curves. Difficulty curves. Anyway, setting can be changed before every mission. Good. Thank you for the confirming that. Piper Faraday, notorious smuggler and occasional pirate, is having a rough time. A brutal gang of thugs called Scrappers are spreading across her turf in the outskirts. Stealing everything in sight. They have even been known to kidnap the locals. Their presence could draw unwanted attention from the Royal Space Force. In short, they are bad for business. Low on water, Piper and her mates have boarded a scrapper ship, aiming to relieve them of their ill-gotten cargo. And of course, it all went according to plan. I love the art style for the Steam World games. It's kind of this nice vectory style. Okay. Blast. This did not go according to plan. What a positively macabre place. Okay, so look up. Hey, fellas, you alright? Right. Better get up there and help out. Alright, move the cursor to the target. Okay, confirm movement and turn. Open the door. Confirm. A whole cow bought down here. Ain't I lucky? Mind if I help myself to some of your water? When I'm done with you, I'll use you for spare parts. Ah, you just try, bub. Okay, so we want to move over, take cover, confirm. How many movement points do I get? Doesn't really say. Anyway, right trigger. Aim and fire. Oh, interesting. It's kind of got kind of an active aiming system. Well, when in doubt... Take his hat off. Okay, draw, con draw gun. Hit him in the back of the head. There's something about that hat. 
I don't know why it's flashing like that. I also don't know if headshots are particularly important. Anyway. Uh, so we're good. Can I... I see. So that's the amount I can move. Enter. Okay, careful now. I want to pick up his hat. Got his hat. What else is there? Enter. Oh, that's the only thing I can, in fact, do. Well, that's okay. I like this. I like this already. This is definitely a lot more of an interesting ga- oh. This is a lot more of an interesting game than, uh, SteamWorld Dig. And the art style's improved and everything has. Turrets! Fancy security for a hunk of junk. Bet I can cover behind that shot up barrel. Okay, sprint to cover. Oh, I see. So if we move this far, we can't, uh, we can't shoot. Okay. I won't be able to fire after a sprint like that. I'll just wait my turn here. Right, my turn. Better amp up my gun so I can take that turret out with one shot. I don't want to trust another go covering behind this thing. Selectability. Right trigger. Right trigger. Turn around. Interesting. Okay, so power shot. Cool down three turns. Regular shot that deals ex one extra damage. Gotcha. It's interesting that there's a... Um, that there's kind of an active aiming system here. I like that. All right. Well, let's keep going. Let's find our crew. Don't know if we have anything else around here. We're probably not going to get attacked. I can move quite a ways. But yeah, this actually reminds me a lot of XCOM. Just in terms of, like, functionality and whatnot. Seabrass. You took your sweet time, Captain. And here I was coming to save you and all. Where's the rest of the crew? They got scrapped and hauled off. I'm the only one left. Yeah. Dang it. We need to get out of here before we end up in some scrap heap. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright. So we go here. Draw a gun. Phew. Straight in the face hole. Alright. Uh, should be good. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have... He doesn't have a targeting line. Alright. Well, it did one damage at the very least. Okay, so question is... Can Piper... Can Piper take a pot shot at him? Piper can. Okay. Actually, we power shot him right in the face. Oh, guess we didn't even need to. There's our way out. Let's deal one of their escape pods. Toot sweet. Okay, so I guess we've got to go over here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gotta go back for the hat. Okay. Hat on? Hat off? Half a hat on. I assume it's like armor or something. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Let's see if we can take a nice little pot shot at this guy. Wait for it to line up. Now let's get a little bit further down. Got it. Okay, and then Seabrass can't do anything because he's on the other side of this door. So we'll just kind of hang out here. This guy's not going to be able to do anything to begin with. And he misses. Interesting how cover works in this game. I like it. I like it a lot. This is really solid. Like, I like XCOM and stuff, but I actually almost like the 2D formula better. It reminds me a lot of, um... What does it remind me really heavily of? Um... Oh, shoot. It's a MOBA. And now I can't remember the name of the MOBA anymore. Which kind of sucks. Because it was a cool MOBA. Uh, it was 2D side-scrolling MOBA. And that I can't remember anymore. Okay. Board the escape pod and finish the mission. Yes. Yeah, no, I can't remember. Whatever. Doesn't matter too much. All according to plan. Successful. Hat. This bowler might be a bit worse for the wear, but it's still er stylish, right? Anyway, better than freezing your scalp off. And also a swag bag. Small but rewarding amount of treats. So we get some water. Resource for uh, robots. We get some experience. For a crewmate, 55. Oh, it's split between each character. Gotcha. Welcome back, Captain. 
Dang it, Wonky. We won't get any work done with these scrappers hogging everything in sight. The no good steam maggots. They're even pilfering the parts of Vonda's crew bot cow bots. We'll have to do something about it. They hauled off most of our crew back there. Yar, I'm still here. With the water shortage, it's a tough spot. No mistaking it. This puts us at a skeleton crew. What am I? Invisible? We didn't even get that much water. We'll need more gallons to get back on our feet. I have to figure something out. Okay, ma'am. Just set the course over on the map table, and it'll get us moving. Okay. Well, let's go down and talk to Seabrass for the time being. Golly, that went bad. Those patchy boltheads had me staggered. Yar. Makes me squeamish about boarding bigger vessels, it does. I don't feel much like ending up in some scrap heap. Right you are, sailor. It's interesting how they handle the voice acting. Getting prepared should be high priority, ma'am. Grumpy old Seabrass might be a capable fellow, but we're not, not fit to handle all these scrappers. We'll have to round up some more gallons. Okay. We need to find some gallons. Well, I guess we don't have any options. Filling up. With nothing but Ripper-class scrappers aboard, this tiny vessel should be easy pickings for even a small and desperate crew. Grab as many as possible, and, uh, as much as possible and get out. So collect squ swag, evacuate. See, difficulty, I'll go with it. Okay. So, weapon, utility, nothing. Nothing. Captain's hat. Fisherman beanie. Sw swab hat. This is amusing. Okay, so Vanguard. Okay. I have a temptation to uh, actually bump up the difficulty to get some extra experience, but the mission penalty is a little bit worrisome, so I'm probably going to avoid that for the time being. Hint. You cannot sprint and shoot in the same turn. Well, that should be easy enough. Gotta love this visual design here. Okay. Can you hear me? It's wonky. I've hooked up some... Oh, wait, I've hooked up to some exposed plumbing on the ship, so now I can speak to you. This should be an easy mission. Nothing like the last one. Just grab all the gallons you can. Oh, and if you should come across any epic swag, make sure and bring it back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's supposed to go. It doesn't look like we have any other ones. I'll put them behind cover for the time being. Doesn't look like we're getting attacked by anybody. Uh... Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna end my turn there. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Left trigger to switch. Okay. Try opening this door. So you got these guys here. I don't really have much of an option. Because it could hide behind this. Huh! Turns out that works. Awesome. Well, let's see. Can I get some kind of crazed ricochet shot? Off the ceiling. And straight into him. The answer is no. I could always sprint. But I don't think that's going to do me any good. Let's just guard for the time being. Okay, here he comes. Turns out somebody's got a case of the stupids. So, question is... Oh, I see. He's just outside of our range. Not necessarily, but still. Okay. Let's ga grab the swag. I'm going to move up to this barrel. I'll move both up and... Let let's take care of the horizontal first. And then we can swing back and get the vertical. I'm hoping that uh, what I can do is piss these guys off. Uh, what with their crappy aim and whatnot. Okay. Let's see. Come on. I can get a. I can totally get a. I can totally get a positive angle on this. Well, I can shoot him in the boot. Alright. Switch around. Unfortunately, we don't have too many options here. That did not work. Alright, whatever. 
they've got garbage accuracy to begin with. So the question is, can I... There we go. I love the fact that that tracks there. Okay, so let's pan the camera. I guess we might as well pop down and grab the swag. That's a neat ship design. I like it. Okay. So I'm going to move here. End turn. Going to move these guys back. Uh, I'm going to open up the thing directly above Piper. Can I melee him? I've never done melee. Oh, shit. Turns out, melee is a bad move. Alright. Well, we'll be fine. But yes, shooting people in the face works way better than melee. I will keep that in mind. I was hoping that I'd be able to get some kind of, like, crazy back attack on him and, you know, assassinate or something. Turns out that's not the way it works. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, uh... We've probably got one more swag bag around here. I don't see any other ones hiding there, so we've we've just got the one at the far side of the room. Okay, get this door open. I'm not even sure if this is... Yeah, that is not ample cover. Okay, so we'll put here, her there. Uh, we'll switch to him. What I'm going to do is next turn, open the door, have him run back. Okay. Alternatively... Take his hat off. Okay, we want to right trigger to power shot. Drag it down a bit. And there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, let's just have him grab the loot box. I kind of hope you can do as many of these missions as you want instead of it being a completely linear thing, just because I this looks like the kind of game that I'd actually really enjoy just randomly uh, completing missions for. You should have enough water by now, and we won't get paid for wrecking scrappers. Just pocket all the swag and head for an escape pod. Well, we've already wrecked all the scrappers, so that bit's kind of meaningless, and I don't think we're going to get anybody coming to attack us either. It'd be interesting if we did. Uh, but I highly doubt it. Oops. There we go. Question is, where did I just make him stand? Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll just have her guard for the time being. But yeah, I, I like this. I like this a lot. It's really solid. Music is good. Style is great. Uh, gameplay is solid. And I am really looking forward to doing a full series on this game. I do hope that there are kind of randomly generated missions that I can just do and there's no arbitrary time limit on this. Because this seems like the kind of game that I'd like to take my time with, you know, gain levels, collect loot, get upgrades, that sort of thing. As opposed to being like, I need to rush for the end because I'm going to lose. You know, XCOM style. Anyway, swag bag, 133 water. Oh, I see. Some treasure. Okay, a few swills of water, the essential resource for Steambot, a glimmering solid investment caused an elusive fever pitch during the gold rush. Ought to yield a good day's pay when sold. So I'll read descriptions for these things. Scrap grenade, utility tier one. Adds action. Shoot a grenade, uh, uh, not up. Shoot a grenade with an arced trajectory, up to six damage inside an area of impact. One use per mission. Ooh. And epic container. Apparently added one reputation. Gets me the carry on pistol. Three to four damage, plus one critical. Worth 125 water. A primitive but accurate lead spitter. Does what it's supposed to do. Alright. The outskirts total three stars. Interesting. So we get a level up. Oh, I see. So every time we uh, every time we go down the list. So new ability, we get character's health goes up by one. And new ability. Payback! Vanguards become enraged when taking damage. When enraged, their next attack will deal plus two bonus damage. Nice. God, I love the background art for this game. That should be enough water. Let's head for Gat's Bar and spend it. Yar! I'd like a new cannon. Give me a trustworthy gun any day over an inexperienced crewmate. 
I thought we weren't welcome at Gats anymore. Well, now we've got gallons, gallons to spend. And Gats not an unreasonable fellow. I think we got enough water for now. Let's swing by Gats Bar and see if we can get what we need. Right. I might just have the charm. I I might just have to charm Gat a bit. Okay, let's go talk to uh Seabrass. You okay there, sailor? Yar. This whole thing makes me steam boil. I'm so angry I could strangle a whale. That's horrible, Gabriel. Such majestic creatures. You never met a whale, have ye, Captain? Uh, not really, no. Shifty-eyed creatures, a lot of them. Only good thing about them, they're dripping with oil. Need to, I think I need to actually get into the nautical uh, voice acting for some of these guys. Anyway, space map. Okay, set the course for Gats, ma'am. Can I do this again? I want to see if I can repeat. Okay, so... We might as well throw on this. So currently we've got damage 2, critical plus 2. Alternatively... Oh, I see. Critical is like a headshot. Uh, carry on pistol is totally worthwhile, though. And we'll keep with the shotgun. Do I give him the grenade? Let's give him the grenade. That way that we have something. And let's put the bowler on him just because funny. Okay, start mission. Really, I just want to see if I can farm extra resources. Uh, by... By redoing levels. Resources and experience. Because this is kind of one of the main... Oh. Hi. Main concerns of mine. Well, I have nothing but concerns for what is going on right now. Oops. Don't want to do that. Do want to shoot him in the face. Perfect. Alright, so this guy is going to take a pot shot at her. That's okay. Question, can I... Oh. Do we not get sharp sh sharpshooter anymore? We don't. That's rough. So I'm going to have her run this way. There's no good cover. We're going to have sea brass pop over here. I'm not going to fire a grenade in close quarters. We don't need to. Yeah, so it looks like the ships are, in fact, randomly generated here. Uh, so I can redo them if I want to. Nice. I like that. I, I like RPG games where, you know, you can go back and redo things if, if you so wish. It's a nice, uh... It's a nice way of, you know, gathering equipment, levels, whatnot. And it does mean that if I run into something particularly, uh, dastardly... Yeah, let's just wait our time. Let's see, if we run into something particularly dastardly, I can always just go grind for a bit. Ooh. I guess we might as well pop downstairs. For better or worse. I'm gonna try try going down first this time around. Okay. Let's get this door open. That's a lot of dudes. Okay. Luckily, we've got a little bit of something up something 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 up our sleeve. So you know what? Let's do the grenade. Grenade seemed like a good idea. Uh, how do we, how do we do that? How do we, can I undo? Oh, that's not what I want to do. Okay, well, I guess we futz that up pretty hard. God, we're pretty freaking far away. Well, it just destroyed their cover. Not what I was meaning to do in the slightest. Okay, so we want to shoot. There we go. I missed that uh, that line we had. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind for the future. Okay, there we go. Well, we win. One way or another. Probably. We've got, what, one swag bag? There's, there's yet more swag to consider. Okay. So this time I'll have Seabrass open up the door. Okay, there's Big Bad. Let's go back behind cover. Interesting.
Okay. Open up this door. Let's move forward a bit. Move forward a bit. Right trigger. Shoot. Don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him. Nope. He is behind cover, isn't he? Well, that sucks. But that's fine now. So let's switch. Let's do a power shot and hit him straight in the face. There we go. Okay, let's get those swag bags. Is that it? We done? We are done. Oh, and evacuation is much closer this time around. Good. So I don't actually have to go wildly out of my way to get out of one of these ships. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this. Though I'm definitely going to have to figure out what the dealio is with her uh, sharpshooter perk. Because I guess it only applies to certain guns. I really like that line for her. Makes her into a nice little sniper. So, we get some more water. Ghost swag. Oh. The ghost treasure of missions past. The epic swag has already been taken on this mission. The ghost chest will reward reputation, but no items. A lot of water. You know, I'm okay with this. And how much experience do we get? The same amount. That's nice. So yeah, if I want to redo missions over and over and over again, I totally can. I'm not going to do that too much. That is totally like a weird dead robot hand in that door. That's horrifying. Uh, but yeah, if I want to redo missions a bunch, I totally can. And that means grinding uh, to even out the difficulty curve and or resources and or levels or I don't even know. Anyway, let's talk to Wonky. Sorry for dragging you into these fights, Wonky. I've been through tough times before, ma'am. Yes, but I'm getting thoroughly tired of weathering them. I'm sick of being on the run. We haven't had we haven't been a lawful enterprise for a long time now, ma'am. Neat. Okay, can I just can I quit? Does it save? Yes. Awesome. So quit to the main menu, time since last save, 28 seconds. Perfect. So every time you do a mission. I like that. I like that a lot. This is a very high quality game. If you are a fan of uh I mean, turn-based tactical games, if you liked XCOM, SteamWorld Heist is probably going to feel right up your alley. It's got a little bit of active systems here and there. Uh, it's probably not going to be as merciless or hard. But at the same time, it's... Oh, does it look good. Like, seriously good. Um, the, you know, the, the visual style is great. The music is great. The gameplay is solid. Uh, looks like there's a fair amount of character ability and weapon diversity. And just in general, it looks like a really solid product. It's, I want to say, 15 to 20 bucks, somewhere in there. I think I got it for like 17. Uh, and I think it's totally worth the money. There's probably a fair amount of, uh, you know, time that you can get out of this game. And it's also on 3DS, PS4, and PC. And unlike most, you know, mobile console whatever ports, it really does feel like it, it functions on all of them. Uh, it's probably best played with a controller, but I don't really mind. Uh, and, you know, I just think this is a solid product that, uh, fans of the strategy genre should pick up. Like, this is, I am, I am excited to play more of this. And that's a good feeling, because it's, you know, I've been in, been in a bit of a dry spell for new cool games for a while. And this one definitely fits the bill. So, I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of SteamWorld Heist. Uh, but first, if you guys like this, uh, episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more SteamWorld Heist or any other indie game or game in general, uh, hit subscribe, because I'm aiming for a full playthrough of this game for sure. And, of course, I'd play a shit ton of other things. So, I guess with that, like I was saying, see you guys next time. And, as always, thanks for watching.